Hi, welcome to this video where we're going to talk about the differences between Y and delta connected circuits. So of course we know that voltage and current and how they interact within either Y connected or delta connected source or load play a huge factor in the current and the voltage relationships. So I just want to kind of do this video to compare the two, a little bit of a cheat sheet uh, for those relationships. Uh, so let's start off talking about voltage. All right, so voltage, now this could be an applied voltage from a source, from an alternator or a generator, or this could be a voltage drop onto a load. So these rules apply whether we're talking a source or whether we're talking a load, they will be true. So looking at Y over here, now with Y, we say this, this is our fundamental law. We say that the line voltage is equal to the phase voltage times root three. Now what that means, what's the difference? Okay, well we have to remember when we're looking at this, this here is called the phase. So what would be, you know, maybe A, B, and C, A to the star point or neutral, that would be considered my phase voltage. And going from here to here, that would be considered my line. So that's typically line. I like to think of line as the conductors that are pulled inside the conduit or the raceway or the cable. That would be my line current and my line voltage measured between those two points. I like to think the phase as in the device, in the, in the alternator, in the load, right? So that's the voltage relationship there. Now what we see for voltage relationship in delta is a little bit different. We actually see that our line voltage is always the exact same as our phase voltage. Because again, what do we see? We see this here, that one winding or that one load is considered the phase. Well, our line is just line to line Electrically, those are exactly the same. So if we were to take a voltmeter and measure our phase, it would be the exact same number as if we were to measure our line. Whereas on the Y, we would measure perhaps 120, and then on line to line, we would measure 240. So it's a root three increase. So that would be our voltage relationships. Okay, great. Now I wanna talk about current and how current flows into these circuits. Now, current on a Y circuit is very easy, okay? What we say with current is that, okay, if, if I connect my, you know, conductor to here, right, let's call this my, you know, my line conductor to here, whatever current is flowing here on my phase, because of Kirchhoff's current law, only has one point, is also gonna be flowing on my line. So what we say in a Y circuit is we say that I line equals I phase. That will be our relationship there. Now on delta, it's a little bit different. So how I like to look at this for delta is I have my line conductor coming in, okay? Now, current works like this. We would have a line current here flowing on my line conductor. Call that I line. Now, Kirchhoff's current law tells us all current flowing into a point must also leave that same point. So if my line current is flowing in to that node on the top, then my line current will er, split and I will have phase currents flowing out from that point. So these would be called my I phase in there. And now the way that relationship works is we say that our I line equals I phase times, again, we see that root three relationship. Now I just want to point out one thing here for that is that this relationship there, I line equals I phase times root three, is only true in a balanced load, or in a balanced delta circuit, right? Um, the voltage relationship's true in balanced or unbalanced. Of course, a balanced circuit, meaning that each phase has the same impedance 
and the same power factor. That's what makes it balanced. Same impedance and same power factor at each phase. If they are balanced, my line current will be my phase current times root three. If they are unbalanced, you can check out the video I have linked below or up top here, which will show you those relationships for unbalanced current in a delta circuit. Now, the last thing I want to touch on here before we're done with this video is just the, uh, the relationships on a phasor diagram. So in this case, for a Y circuit, because I line equals I phase, that's going to be where that is. But the voltages on a phasor diagram, V line, will actually lead V phase by 30 degrees. And what we would say over here with our delta, right? So that has to do with the way those angles line up. And again, I'll link that video below to get more in depth into that relationship. Over here, because our voltage is the same in the line and the phase, we actually have two current phasors on our phasor diagram. And that relationship would be that I line lags I phase by 30 degrees on my phasor diagram. And again, one thing to keep in mind, again, that is only true in a balanced delta. So anyways, this is just kind of a quick comparison between the two, my Y relationships, my delta relationships. Check out this video here and playlist here for more info on Y. Check out this video and playlist for more info on Delta. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.